Realme Philippines officially launched their newest smartphones in the country a couple of days ago, the Realme 5 and the Realme 5 Pro. We've already given you guys a quick look at both of these devices on the channel and they've been mostly met with a lot of praise, but it's time to see how one of them handles our favorite mobile games. Hey Unbox fam, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box and in this video we're going to be doing a gaming review for the Realme 5 Pro, a phone whose price starts at 11,990 pesos for its base variant but you can max it out to 8GB of RAM and 128GB if you can extend your budget to 13,990 pesos which is the phone that we'll be featuring today. Now if you want to see a gaming review for the Realme 5, don't worry guys, we've got you covered. All you have to do is stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. As an incentive, we're also doing a giveaway for the Huawei Watch GT. All of the mechanics will be listed down below, so stay tuned. Of course, before we get to the games, let's give you guys a quick recap on the key specs of the Realme 5 Pro. Let's start with its processing package. You have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 712 processor, and as I mentioned earlier, there are two configurations available for this device. The one that we have with us today is the top spec variant, so we have 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage to play with. For its display, this device has a 6.3 inch Full HD Plus LTPS IPS display, so it definitely has a good amount of pixel density for crispy looking graphics for the games that we'll be testing out in this video. As for its battery, it has a capacity of 4,035mAh that provides a good amount of juice for everyday tasks. The Realme 5 Pro clocked in at 12 hours and 54 minutes with our battery benchmark tests, which translates to at least a day and a half or two days of battery life with moderate use, but again, mileage will vary depending on how you use your phone. Alright, with a recap out of the way, let's get to the games and we'll be testing out six titles in this gaming review, Asphalt 9, Mobile Legends, Vainglory 5v5, NBA 2K20, PUBG Mobile, and our newest favorite game, Call of Duty. Now, as always, all the metrics that you'll be seeing in this gaming review is powered by GameBench. Now, they're not sponsoring this video or this series in any way, but they are instrumental in bringing it to you guys. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave a link to their website down below. Now, without any further ado, let's get to the first game on the list, Asphalt 9. It comes to no surprise that Asphalt 9 ran smoothly on the Realme 5 Pro. We got an average of 30 frames per second at 97% stability with the graphics set on high quality. Now, if you're a big fan of this quick racing title to pass your short breaks, then that should be good news for you and a good way to kick off this gaming review. Next up on the list, Vainglory. This device made short work of this title as well, getting perfect marks for its metrics. The Realme 5 Pro managed an average of 60 frames per second at 100% stability at the highest settings. So if Mobile Legends isn't for you and you prefer this title from the guys over at Super Mega Evil Corp, then this phone definitely gets the job done. Speaking of Mobile Legends, let's see how this device handles the most popular mobile MOBA in the country right now. So the Realme 3 Pro was fantastic for this extremely popular game, so it comes to no surprise as well that the Realme 5 Pro would handle Mobile Legends like a charm. 
It got an average of 59 frames per second at 100% stability, which should make the road to Mythic a little easier without FPS drops, even during huge team fights. Now let's move on from all of the MOBAs and play some hoops with the next game, NBA 2K20. The 2K series can be quite taxing for most devices, especially if you max everything out like we did, but we still got rather good results on this phone. It averaged 44 frames per second at 89% stability, which is still very playable if you want to max out the graphics. Of course, if you want things to run a little smoother, you can turn off options like depth of field or cloth simulation, but as is, it's not bad at all. Moving on, let's take a look at another fan favorite, PUBG Mobile. I definitely had no complaints while playing this Battle Royale on the Realme 5 Pro. We got an average of 30 frames per second at 99% stability. Driving around was pretty smooth with scarce pop-ins and firefights went off without a hitch. Now do take note that we didn't use GFX tool for this gaming review so we were locked to 30 FPS, but we still got the chicken dinner in the end. Okay, the very last game is one that we've been spending a lot of time playing recently, Call of Duty. COD is a very fast-paced game, so having really stable frame rates is extremely important. The good news is that Realme 5 Pro got an average of 59 frames per second at 99% stability, so we definitely had no trouble running around and getting some kills. If you really want to, you can even bump down the graphics a little bit and max out the frame rates to get it running even smoother. Now I think that the Realme 5 Pro is an excellent option if you're looking for a smartphone below 15,000 pesos primarily used for gaming. Now for games like NBA 2K20, you might want to lower the settings to get closer to that 60 FPS maximum, but honestly getting 44 frames per second average didn't really bother me too much, but I'm sure there are some of you that might want that option. It's also good to note that the phone didn't really heat up or warm up particularly while I was testing out these games for you guys, so that's another thumbs up in my book. Again, just a reminder guys, there are two variants for the Realme 5 Pro, one with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, and the one that we have with us today, which is 13,990 pesos with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Now, if you really have a really strict budget of 10,000 pesos or less, you can check out the Realme 5. Again, the gaming review for that one will be up on the channel very, very soon, so stay tuned. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph plus follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.